Alright, shalom. Okay, shalom. Okay, shalom. Give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Hashem Rakat Kadash. Give honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, elders of the Lord. Salutations to the Akimus. Continue to do this truth, push this truth, do this work until the end. Hopeful elect. Let's face base Israelites. Israelite foreigners. The song, those that believe in the truth and the power and the, have faith in it. Glory of the hell, but shim you have a shot. All right, here we go. We're out here once again to talk to God. The downfall of this wicked place called America, which in the Bible is called Babylon. And the Bible is referred to as Egypt. Also, it's referred to as Sodom and Gomorrah. All right? But a host of a lot of other names this place was referred to. You know, this wicked ass place, man. Right? You know? The thief. What's the scripture say? It says the thief that keepeth not at home. <laughs> Everybody all caught up and all stuck and stupid by 2020, man. How many times you hear people saying, oh man, it's 2020, I can't wait till it's over. It's 2020, I can't wait till it's over. People in there crying, losing their minds, man, you know, because all the deaths that are occurring. Then you got this death with your boy, uh, Chad with Bowen. Oh my goodness. That's why you said that fool's name right now. But he's right, man. He's, he's right. He's in the kingdom of heaven right now. <laughs> you know, my man's in the kingdom of heaven, man. So he's got, he got his mind all right, man. But a car full of lesbians, a car full of bull daggers, man. You know, most high mark them, though. All you gotta do is let your sexual eyes on a minute a little bit. Anyway, it's a trend going around now. Everybody know they in Israel, right, man? You know? But well, anyway, this thing with death, man, this death thing, man, this death. People on the internet crying. I mean, losing their mind, man, because of this dude died, man, when this man literally has done nothing as far as um to liberate our people or to uh to uh done any, nothing uh, uh, righteously for our people, man. The man was just an actor, man. He was just an actor, man. You know? And it's going to come out later. Maybe if I do some research myself. On this man's history. You know? Because you know these people are part of the Boule Society. Alright? And I read that uh, the boy did so Washington paid for this dude to actually go through... I'm, <coughs> I can't remember if it was college or the school of arts or you know whatever he paid to help further this this dude career. So you know Denzel Washington, who's Boule himself, Boule, which is a secret society where these people swore their allegiance to uh, another god, man. You know, swore their allegiance to another god. All right. So anyway, it's gonna come out more and more about this thing. Well, anyway, the Most High deemed him worthy to die. You know what I'm saying? Because all death is by your how bush and your outside. So if you can cry and be mad, man, get mad at him, man. Get mad at the Heavenly Father. And the big and, and listen, man, the Heavenly Father can care less if you're angry with him. <laughs> you know? He can care less. You know? Because so you gotta understand, man, we living in God is something we bring out constantly, man. This is something we bring out constantly, man. If you break the laws and commandments of Yahweh Bush and Yahweh Shai, man, he's gonna kill you. First of all, it straight up leads to death, man. You know? Not taking heed of his word, man. It leads to death. You know? The apostle, especially mainly the apostle Tahar, he put up the video with, um, uh, colon, speaking on colon cancer. Where, you know, the most people got. I even have a friend, man, that caught a disease called, uh, let me see if I can find it. What's up, man? Dreadful disease. And a friend of mine called it an intestinal disease where um, the disease is actually breaking down his immune system. You know? And where you know your gut, 80% of your gut, 80% of your immune system lies in your gut, man. You know? And I don't found years ago after I flushed myself out and started uh, uh, working on a certain diet that I don't get nowhere near it. That's sick, man. You know? The water you help, but it shouldn't be out of shot, you know? 
the water. So, Apostle brought out, like I said, the, the, uh, the, speaking on the colon. When man, you got you got uh, colon cancer, man. That's because you got a bad diet. You know. And the word coming out that the brother was marked by some brothers up in Chicago, man. You know, dudes and Israelites said, "Oh my, give you enough time to wake your simple ass up, and then execute judgment, man." You know, a lot of a lot of judgment's gonna be executed in the last days when all hell breaks loose. But leading up to that, man, there's gonna be a lot of death, man. You know, it's gonna be a lot of death. It's gonna be a whole lot of the ungodly dropping dead, man. You know, simply for not listening to the laws of, you know, simply not listening to the prophets of the Lord, man. So let me grab you a scripture here. This is First Samuel two. So like I said, get mad at the heavenly Father, man. I can you see this freak of goddamn nature. That literally just, oh my God, a little freak of nature. Next to the freak of nature, there's, there's uh, old ass women with yoga pants on, man. I mean, this is unbelievable. It's unbelievable, man. The 70 something year old woman, 70, 70 something year old women wearing yoga pants, man, and are totally out of shape. You know, the old women, Young women, they all have lost direction. They all have lost their way, man. You know? Not that they never ever had it in the first place, because you don't know your way if you don't have a man. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck how much fame and how much money and wealth you have on this side, man. You lost, you done lost your way, man. Anyway, let me get off point, man. Alright? So I was going to begin with reading 1 Samuel 2 and 5 and say, They that were full have hired out themselves for bread. And they, they were hungry cease. And that and they that were hungry cease, so that the baron had born seven and sheep. I don't know why he read this, but and sheep that had little children. The Lord killeth, this is a point I want to bring out. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Alright, so it was the Lord, it's the Heavenly Father that any death that occurs, man, is through that. It's courtesy of the Heavenly Father, man. The Heavenly Father, courtesy, he sanctions whatever death takes place. It doesn't matter if it's a, your little babies, grandchildren, your little niece, your little nephews, infants. It's the Heavenly Father that does it. I just read the scripture. Listen, the Lord killeth, all right? So I just read the scripture. It doesn't matter if the man is rich or, and famous and have all kind of wealth. And many, many people love that person, man. It's the Heavenly Father that sanctions these deaths, man. You know? You don't understand that, hey, once you once you go off course of the laws of the Heavenly Father, man, once you hey, once you neglect the uh to uh the follow righteousness, man, you you subject to all forms of uh diseases and corruptions and pollutions and you know? That's something you gotta understand, man. You have to follow, and there's no exception to somebody uh the heavenly father looking down on the earth and oh he's that's my that's my servant, he's He's uh, I'm well pleased with him, and he's and he's not even rehearsing the right righteous act. He can care less about following the dietary law, you know. But he's just speaking a good game. Perfect example is Farrakhan. Man, Farrakhan, he got them all beat, man. As far as uh, um, as far as being the speaker, you know, because he plays to the people's emotions, you know. And Israel obviously are an emotional people. <coughs> An Israelite man has no business living off his emotions. Okay? Literally, have no business living off of his emotions like these women. All right, but he he's good at playing to the people's emotions. You know, as far as riling the people up. You know, got the people all excited, got the people all angry. Bail, you understand what I'm saying? But the guy, he's a godless ass man. If you had the spiritual eyes to understand how to analyze these people. All you need is this book, man. What's up, bro? That's a snake. It's a straight up snake. But anyway. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, my God! 
Tell our people, mainly these young motherfuckers, man. You tell them you're an Israelite, you know, we're the children of God, they cuss you out, man. You know how many times me and the brothers were, our lives were threatened, people right, threatened right, to kill right, us. Right, right, <laughs> right. It's live right now. It's live on YouTube, live on the I don't know how many people are doing right now. This is Panther. I stopped in. Gave, <laughs> gave some knowledge. Much respect. I must move on right now. The time of the Great Awakening. I'm in the Great Awakening. You notice I'm out here every Monday, right? You know, and that's the thing with our people. We're supposed to come out and learn this truth and do exactly what we're doing. And that's all part of the scripture. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's all part of the scripture. Gideon. Yeah. You know what Gideon is? Gideon, right, right. You tell you the message, right? Right, right, right. Door to door. Yeah. Door to door. Well, you got to come to the highways and the byways. Don't yeah, you? same thing. Okay. Right, right. But they're, they're you moving, gotta go. You're moving with the word. Some men, so men can see. Yeah, you move with the word. They're standing one place down. They're coming at you. What the scripture says, go to uh, the chief place of concourse where there's going to be a lot of traffic. Yep. A lot of business right. taking place. Right. You know, it's all part of the scripture. Yep. Okay, man. Respect, right. respect. Okay, we will try to Okay, uh, explain to him about. Um, uh, 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 Jacob being uh, renamed Israel, you know, but it's beautiful how before that, how I described Jacob took his wives and uh, let me just give it again. Dude's a bug out there. He's all, he's all full of all different kinds of shit. Already cursed his ass out weeks ago, man, you know. Walking around with the Star of David, but that ain't no Star. There is no Star of David, but that's what them uh, those uh, false Jews follow after. You know that Star, which when you go in the book, um, you um, uh, I'm not. I'm, I may be going off a little bit, but uh, Ashtar or Isha, Ishachar or Ash, Ashtar, I can't remember the name. When you go into the definition of that, there's also the Star. They represent the Star. Also. People are under a feminist vibration. Once you go in the country, you see a lot of stars in these people's garages in the country, in rural America, farmers and you know, people live in the country. You see on their doors and their you see on their garages and their houses a star. And that star in the country represents fertility. Um, they're hoping for a good um, um, harvest and you know what I mean? And that's represent fertility. And like I said, these people are under a feminist vibration. Man. You know, but anyway, that dude's a demon, man. He's a demon, man. You know? So I ain't going to... I give him a little bit, but as far as going back and forth with the fools, he's not going to see it. You know? I already know he's not going to see it. All right? Hey, where was I at? Oh, speaking on the issues of death. Most I going to kill him, too. Because like I said, man, he said... He told me I was going to uh, burn in lava <laughs> because I condemned him. You know? Like I said, you come up against the word, man. You know how we are, man. We're gonna come back at we're gonna come back. We're gonna, we, we, we are um, defenders of the gospel, man. And being defender of the gospel, people are gonna be talking all this shit. He's gonna die in lava. Lava. I said, motherfucker, you're gonna die in the missile. You 
you know what I'm saying? Fucking laughing. That's fucking crazy, man. But anyway, let me get this, man. I'm talking about the issues of death. Speaking about the issues of death. So, Chatwin Bowman, man. Uh, people have lost their jobs. The economy's shutting down. You know? More and more people are becoming homeless. You know? And you see more and more. You see a lot of these nasty ass hoes just get more desperate and get more aggressive as far as trying to find a man. Man, I literally got to turn it on, man, and turn these bitches away, man. You know? You know? I ain't got no time for these nasty ass hoes, man. You know? I got to literally turn them away, man. Because they out here desperate. You know? They lack it now. Because, you know, really, she made some push. I'm independent. I'm a strong woman. I'm independent. Now they're finding out that's all, that was all, that's all bullshit because a lot of them like it now. Their goodies and their snacks has been cut off, man. You start cutting their goodies and their snacks off, man. You know? So what did the book of Isaiah say? I'm going back to that um, that's first that first Samuel, but let me get Isaiah real quick. You should have listened, man. You should have listened. Here you go. This is Isaiah 30. And here's another one I want right here too. 31. Woe to the rebellious children that say to the Lord, that say the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may ascend to sin. They walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. That's all these fools that, you know, they really thought. All those entitlements was going to continue on forever, man. You know, Section 8, you know, uh, the unemployment. They thought that unemployment check was going to continue on forever, you know. Uh, um, the EBT card, the welfare, man. He saw courtesy of Donald Trump. Donald Trump, man, he started doing all kind of cuts across the board, man. And like I said, mainly that Section 8, man. They did cuts all across the board, you know. A lot of these stupid-ass fools was too busy laying around getting stoned and getting high, they weren't watching for what was going on. So a lot of these fools now are gonna end up homeless and, and with, you know, desperately looking for any man, you know? When that's gonna, they're just gonna dig themselves deeper and deeper into a hole, man, you know? Because they didn't prepare themselves, man, you know? Because they were strong and independent, <laughs> you know? Let me get another one, man. Whoa, this is 31, I said 31. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. All right? And stay and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and the horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither do they seek the Lord. They don't think, they, they, hey, they're looking for their next payday. You know? And that's the majority of the people, man, looking for that big payday. And you wonder why all these strange deaths uh, these un uh, un uh, unexpected deaths are occurring, especially with the entertainers. Hey, the most high hit you where it hurts, man. Because you love your idols, man. And that's all through the scriptures how the Lord is going to destroy your idols. Chadwin Bowen, the Black Panther. Wait a minute, I thought he died already, though, in uh, the Avengers when they fought uh, the dude with the rings. I can't remember the name. That's kind of spiritual because he died at the end of that movie. He vanished. He ceased to exist. <laughs> anyway, your boy's in the spiritual world. He's good now. Let me go back to that second Samuel. First Samuel. Hey, death is going to get worse, man. It's going to get worse, man, this death. Okay. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave. And bring it up. Here we're telling you not to get the vaccine. But look, you already know they're going to You already know they're going to line up for the vaccine. And if they so willing to line up for these vaccines, which is going to be a series of them, a series of vaccines, man, you know they're going to line up for the RFID chip. So all we can do is just give the people the message, man. They ain't going to break our necks and try to convince these people not to, man. We're just going to give them the message, man. The hell want to get a damn vaccine, man. I got the sickest after getting the damn vaccine. He 
bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord make us poor and make us rich. So all this homelessness is going on is behind the, the power of the Heavenly Father, man. You know? Behind the Heavenly Father, man. This homelessness is taking place. So who are you mad at? The messenger? All right, be mad at the messengers. Nobody give a shit. The message, the message today, man, is to follow the Lord and repent or die. <laughs> That's the message for today. Repent or die. You know? That's an abomination right there, Lord. I'm telling you, man. I'm just telling you. The union of these people, man. No hand holding hand, man. The wicked should not be in punishment. I don't know if that's a damn. Looks like a heathen. Well, actually, they both look like heathen. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dungeon. That's what's going to take place. Man. It's a spiritual awakening. Those of us that are accepting the word, man. That are accepting that mark, you know. That are accepting the mark, man. You know? <laughs> you know? It's just funny how these niggas, man, especially niggas that think they got a little bit of money, how they look at you. It's fucking amazing, man. It's fucking amazing. But anyway, we're doing a great awakening, man. The Lord's going to lift us up literally out of the dust. Hell, we were born out of dust in the beginning. You know? His children, the children of Israel, man. We won't call them. Out of the dust, man. Literally. So it says, and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of the saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. First, that strength is starting with this word. You know? The strength is starting with this word, man. Tell the people, hey, you need your life. You need your life, man. You know, you find out who you are and find your, and read your history, man. That does some, man. that itself does some miraculous things to your, your mind and your body. You know? What's up, man? Woo. People are desolate, man. They're desolate people, man. Destroy the nation, man. You know? They say Chadwick Bowen was a mercy kill, man. Well, maybe so. Suffering through that, uh, suffering through that colon and cancer, man. That's, once you start taking that chemotherapy, my wife called cancer, and um, I made I had to make her stop that shit, man. She started beginning stages of that chemo. It started pulling, and I had to explain to her simple ass that, hey, you know, before you even went to the doctors, you was fine, and ever since you've been going to the doctor, listen to what they said. You gradually got fucking worse to the point that literally uh, at each moment I thought she was going to drop dead. Man. That's how much pain and stress her body was under. I no longer allowed her to go. Man. I should have never stopped. I mean, I really couldn't do anything at first because these women are stupid, man. They're going to, hey, they're going to do their own thing. Now she's working out again. She's eating a healthy diet of vegetables, the fruit and vegetables, counting her calories. She lost a little bit of weight, you know. No more pain. Now she understands. You better start listening to your husband instead of being adulterous and going to this goddamn doctor. You know? That's what happened when you were ungodly. You heard these old women, man. Y'all supposed to listen to your husband. You're supposed to follow your man. Listen to him, man. You know? And that's exactly what you are. All of you women that follow, that's not listening to your man that's doing your own thing. You're in that spirit of, you're an adulterous, man. You know? And adulterous, the punishment of adultery is put to death, man. Trusting in these doctors, man. My, my answer to Chadwin Bowman, that those of you wondering, so fucked up over this man's death, man, he was a godless fool, and God gave him over to the position, just like the scripture says. Here you go. He gave him over to that position of no value. The scripture says he's in the position of no value, just like Nate. This is Sherlock 238 14, for they shall also pray unto the Lord that he will prosper that which they give. For ease and remedy to, to prolong life 
Oh, this bitch crazy. Demon just dropped on him. Pump, jump on him. Demon just jumped on him. She's just standing there, just started bugging out at the bus stop. She's right here listening. She listens to me every other week because she got to get on the bus, man. It said, he that sinneth before his maker, let him fall into the hand of the physician. So, you know, that's my answer to your boy Chadwick, Chad Baldwin, whatever the hell his name was, Black Panther. That's my reply to Black Panther's death, man. You know, for he that sinneth, he that sinneth, like I said, the brother from the Chicago market who told him he was an Israelite, whether he accepted or not, well, obviously he didn't accept it, you know, nor take heed, and nor take action, make take action, death. He that sinneth before his maker, let him fall into the hand of the physician. The hand of the physician. Let me show you something. Let me look up this scripture in Job. Job 13 and all. Job 13. Job 13. Come on. I'm trying to look at this quick scripture. Let me read another one before I continue on. Psalms 103 and 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. His benefits like eating herbs and uh, spices and honey and cinnamon. You know, it goes on and on, man. You know? Who forgiveth, who forgiveth all thy iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. The Heavenly Father will do all the healing, man. All you got to do is come back to him. You don't just hear you're an Israelite, man, and, and think that's that's enough. Oh, right, you hear you're an Israelite, you got wealth and fame. Oh, that's all. Man, you, you still remain in the congregation of the dead. This is one word I'm looking for. Who, let me finish this. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Who crowneth thee with love, kindness, and tender mercy. So you got to, hey, man, this, this, the work continues on after you hear you're an Israelite. The work continues on, man. You know, that, no, so let me put it this way, I'm sorry, Salaki. That's where the work begins, man. That's when you're actually being reborn, that's where it begins. So you, you start studying, you start actually doing the works, man, you know. Studying, you know, to preserve your life. Studying how to serve the Lord, studying how to serve the house, or should house out. Now let me look up this word. Physician. Here we go. That's who I was looking for.
Here we go. This is Jeremiah 8, 24. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? All right? And that health, the daughter, that's the children of Israel. You know, referring to us as the daughter, man. That's the children of Israel. Because the, as the scripture says, the whole body, the whole hand is sick, man. You know? You know? From a, from a religious and spiritual standpoint, you know? Physically, mentally, you know? Because we go to this damn devil as, uh, uh, for psychology, you know? He's the psychologist. The damn devil is a psychologist. Imagine that. Make some sense out of that. The damn devil, and there's some of our people, you go to the psychology, some of some of our Israelites, but they in the same state as mine as goddamn devil, man. They part of the damn system too, man. Going through this, this devil's school system, not knowing a goddamn thing. You know? It's easy to play psychology on the psychologist. <laughs> you know? So the whole head is sick, man. You know? So I was looking, I wanted to look at that word position. Which is for our father. Let me see how this devil pronounces it though. Come on. That's good at me some water. Rafa. Okay. Okay, to heal, to make healthy, to heal of God. You see that? The position, so the position that you should be going to it should be a man of the Lord. Only the man of the Lord is going to instruct you to be in the right path, man, the right way. But you got these physicians that call themselves doctors also, when doctors word of self leads you to a doctor or to deceive. Alright? That's one of the meanings of a doctor, man. To literally to deceive. In this case, to deceive. This motherfucker literally just strolled across the street, didn't care if cars was coming or not. Cars had to stop, man. These people in a zombie state of mind. He crossed the street before he got down here. Man. Not that I'm gonna bother him to say nothing. If you don't want to receive this, man, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna give it to you, man. It's all good. You know, we ain't losing no sleep because you don't want to listen. Oh, Lord, now they're starting to sing. Killer physician of men. Killer or physician of men. So, we're telling you now there's a dietary law behind all this, man. You know, it's the reason why Jeremiah is telling you that, you know, what does it say? Let me read it again. Jeremiah 8 and 22. These some damn demons around this stuff. It's an upper rising area, man. Esau's starting to move every, a lot of people out. And he's starting, Esau's coming and taking over. A lot of restaurants are them did renovation, you know. The whole street. They plan on moving Jacob out of this motherfucker for real. But this whole street, man. You know. And businesses open up everywhere. Come on. Here we go. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Why then? Because they're not listening. Because the people are always are, are, are rebellious people, man. These people are going to continue to rebel until the Most High takes them up and out of here, man. By fire. You know, these people got to die by fire, man. They just simply don't want to listen, man. And they're not going to listen. You know, nobody's going to be out here faking the funk, pretending like, oh, well, let's all come together. Anybody out here acting like Corrales here in Columbus? Corrales brings everybody and anybody in, man. Every, all these black nasty bitches are always looking at all of them are, man. Because they're a rebellious ass nation, man. So you got that, um, you, you got the just of the meaning of the word physician, man. You know, a healer. You know, a healer of the people, man. You know? We're going to give you a, a spiritual healing and a physical healing. You know? What? I'm talking to the camera. You can come get some of this one. You can come get some of this message. <laughs> You can come get some of this message. That's if you're an Israelite. You're an Israelite? Oh, I hear you. I hear you. I'm an Israelite. 
I was just telling you if you wanted to receive some of this message, the only way you receive by coming to listen. You know, you see what's going on in the world, right? Well, everything that's going on from all the deaths, diseases, is because of the Heavenly Father. You ever read the Bible before? Uh, you read the Bible? Did you know the Bible? Not by heart, but I, I've read it a good few right. times. Did you notice in the Bible that the Lord is behind deaths? I did not. Let me show you something. Every death that takes place, it don't matter who it is, babies to old people. You know how everybody seems to be so sympathetic toward little children. Well, you know, you would think that a little infant baby would be <laughs> innocent. Yeah. But the Bible speaks of reincarnation. You believe in reincarnation? Okay, that's all through the Bible, man. So that baby that passed, that dropped dead, had a previous life. And in that previous life, that baby could have been a mass killer or something, you know what I mean? So let me just show you this real quick. And this couple, this man, I'm telling you, this, there's so many scriptures on it. There's so many scriptures on it. And people just want to deny it. I don't know why people want to be in denial when, look, I didn't, I don't have the power to print this Bible. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come up with this Bible. <laughs> you know? So the book of Isaiah 45 and 7, it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. It says, I, the Lord, do all these things. Now, you know Black Panther died. Did he? Yeah, Black Panther. I did Panther. not know that. Oh, yeah, Black Panther. Man, man, that was a badass movie. It was. Man. That was a good movie. But that, back, that movie, Black Panther, man, uh, that was a highly demonic movie. If you have, if you know what to look for. Because in that movie, Black Panther, there was all kind of um, ancient um, demons of ancient world warship. And they were calling themselves after these demons in the movie, you know. Also in the movie, gave you um, clues. It even showed you in the movie because they had it in the Hebrew writing that those people are the children of Israel. It's only the children of Israel that's actually looking for a savior, you know. And that savior's going to come by UFO. That's what the Lord's going to come in, those UFOs, you know. But anyway, Chadwin Bowman, Black Panther, dropped dead, <laughs> you know. So... And you got people mourning, coming, making YouTube videos, crying. Oh, I love him. He did so much for our people. See, these people are stuck on stupid. He ain't did a goddamn thing for our people. Nor any of these other entertainers and athletes. They don't care less, man. They got their riches. You know? Since the last time you seen an entertainer, somebody with riches walking up down the street, hanging out with a poor, with a poor man. Because you know they know a bunch of poor because they came up out of the hood. You don't see it, man. People can care less, man. So it says here in 1 Samuel 2. I the Lord killeth. I didn't put that in there. I the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. So everything pretty much, this is just, you know, the prophets have visions. The ancient prophets of old have visions. And they had visions of this. For example, Apostle John, he had a vision of this madness. When you go in the book of Revelation, he had a actual vision of, you know, for people in the book. RFID Chuck, you tell me, you kidding me. This is in the Bible, bro. They chip people. Well, they, 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 they've been chipping people for years now. But the thing is, <laughs> but the thing is, what's going to happen, because you know Trump got this Operation Warp Speed to bring in that vaccine for this so-called virus. There's no virus. There's no virus. But the people he... The world is behind it. The world government is behind it, scaring the people into getting this vaccine. But the vaccine is going to have shit like nanotechnology in it, which is going to destroy your immune system. And after these people receive vaccines, the all FID chip is going to come right after them. Because it's a solution to all their problems they have. People are sick. People are losing their jobs because they're homeless, because it's COVID. They shut the economy down. All these businesses shut down. People are putting, man, this is crazy. But you know what? Keep putting that mask on, you keep breathing in your own carbon monoxide. Oh, yeah, man. You're get carbon monoxide poisoning ain't no joke. And you hear people real. dying from it all the time, don't you? Hell yeah, all the damn time. <laughs> you know? See, they know what they're doing. So demons jumping on her. Demons are jumping on oh, her. Oh, Lord, she needs saving. Well, yeah. But the first saving's going to come very, uh, by thermonuclear missiles. The Lord's going to do a mercy kill because that's what the last days is all about. World War Three is going to pop off, which right now, that World War III over in the Middle East is stirring up right now. You got U.S. and actually Russia just, they just did a massive exercise 
um, in the Bering in the Bering Sea and up in Alaska. A massive military exercise. You know when they exercise, the U.S. does it too. When they actually shoot their missiles off, they don't be armed with the actual um, uh, uranium and plutonium. And stuff. Right, the actual nuclear warheads. They just launch them, seeing how good they can fly, how far they can go, how good their tracking. That's systems right. Are. Testing everything, yeah. and they're doing massive exercises right now to get ready for the war of Armageddon. See, the Lord is stirring these people. He got the angels in these people's minds. He's stirring them up to get ready for that. And that time's going to come where they're going to clash. They're going to come at it, man. And first, it ain't going to be the big boys that's going to be shot first. You've heard of them. Um, they call them tactical nukes, which have a smaller yield. They're going to be using those in small battles. Then it's going to escalate to the big boys. But the big boys is really going to be saved for the Lord. Because these people are waiting to fight the Lord when he comes. See, the average people don't know this. You know what I'm saying? But the elite bankers, they know this. That's why they fund and, and you see what America call it, their, their new, it's an extension to the Air Force, their new Space Force. You familiar with that? Yeah. Oh yeah. What you think they're getting ready for? Now, check this Possibly out. we fighting aliens now? Well, the thing is, Goodness. that's what the devil, that's his mind, man. Mm -hmm. He know the Lord is the, and the angels are in those UFOs. Okay? So they make these movies. And you know movies is called program. You know, back in the day, my I mom and dad used to say, let's watch the program. I actually have that. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Which movie again? Which program? One? Okay, program. I've never seen that. It's, it's a good movie. I'm going to have to check it out. How old is it? An old movie? It's an old one. Okay, I'm going to have to check it. I'm going to look it up. Like, I, I'm looking at the CD or DVD case, and it, it's showing like old, old. <laughs> okay, that's cool I'm as hell. So the program, what you do, program, the program the people's mind. So, you know, that's part of this devil's who actually control this shit. That's part of his witchcraft, you know, and his witchcraft, he's working the minds of the people, programming the minds of people. So they make these movies like Independence Day. They make the old ones, these movies like um, War of the Worlds. There's an old one and their new one with Tom Cruise. I remember those ones. Man, they know the angels is coming. See, they in the movies, they portray the angels as monsters. Well, actually, to the wicked, to a devil, an angel is a monster because he's coming to kill him. But they portray the angels as being looking like, you know, like Independence Day. They look like some octopus with tentacles and a big ass head with 50 legs. <laughs> you know, you know how they portray them. Yeah. You know, but the the, the, the angels that's who that that's who's flying those things because I see them all the time. You know, and you, you if you go on YouTube a lot, do a search on YouTube, you see it. More and more people are capture, capturing images of. Them. Everywhere, man. Everywhere. Because we get closer to that time of the coming, you know? So let me show you something with that Space Force. That Space Force. It's all in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. One day you're going to wake up and it's gonna think, you're going to think you're in an actual movie, a sci-fi movie, man. Because they teach you that, oh, man, a lot of things are impossible. And, you know, a lot of the things that we see on TV is just unreal. It's just, it's movies. It's just entertainment. No, no. Everything that's been made on that on that program is actually reality. But they got the people thinking, oh man, that's 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 just uh that's just a movie, man. Check this out. And you read the book of Ezekiel, the first chapter starting at the first, it talks about it. It talks about a giant UFO as well. The book of Ezekiel starting at the first chapter. Um, what's your nationality? Irish, Scottish? Uh, I am half Irish, half Russian, and some American. You know the original Irish and the original Russians were uh, actual uh, so-called black people. You know? Well, the actual Russian, Russians who uh, actually occupied their land first were um, the people of the islands that they call the Bible is referred to as ja uh, Jaffa, yeah. the Jaffetic people. Like they're in Australia, they're in Hawaii, you know, but we used to rule Russia, Scotland, Ireland, like King James. We were told he was a white man. King James was an actual Negro, you know? What the hell? Okay, here we go. The whole book, the whole Bible is a sci is a, 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 an actual sci-fi movie when you're taught to see it the right way. The whole Bible. What in the fuck? <laughs> I gotta look it up another way. 
phone not working right today? Yeah, it's, every time I do this, man. It's... Are you doing live streaming? Yeah, Satan gets involved and does his thing. Here we go. This should be working now. Come on. What? This is crazy. Here we go. Let me try it again. <laughs> Here we go. It's working now. That's kind of funny that this started happening. Okay, the book of our, book of Revelation 12, 12 and 6. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she has a place prepared of the Most High. And that woman, he's speaking in parabolic tone. That woman is the Israelites, all right? Okay. That they should feed her here a thousand two hundred and three score days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon is the see the so-called, you know, the bankers, like the yeah. Rothschilds, you know, the Queen, Prince, and the Prince Philip over there in England, who are the what you want to call biblical Edomites. Alright? That's their people and their heritage. It's a whole nation of Edomites. Okay? And fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. There's a group of um in the Air Force, there's a group of um, there's a fighting um, a flying force called um, the Blue Angels. Right? Uh, you never heard of the Blue Angels? You might want to do a search. You'll see. There's an actual uh, group of flying flyers for the Air Force that call themselves the Blue Angels. So it says the dragon and the dragon fought in his angels. So it first described Michael and Michael's an angel. Because when the Lord comes, he's coming with Michael, the archangel, to fight and deliver his people. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. So these people are right now preparing to fight the angels when they come, and man, there's going to be so many UFOs from the sky, there ain't going to be no sun coming through. That's how many. And besides, the one the Lord's coming in is going to be so massive, there ain't going to be no, no sunlight's going to be able to come through, you know? But it's going to be a massive war, man. That's when they're going to shoot the big boys off. Those big nuclear missiles, man. The ones that... What? Well, uh, 50 kilotons. Which big? Kiloton or megaton? Which one is bigger? Yeah. I'm not sure. I think it might be. Um, Russia let off a 1961 a nuke called Sarbamba. It was the largest nuke ever let off. The Russia let it off, and they air delivered it. Now they got these rockets that can actually deliver these bad boys. And at first, this bomb was the original was supposed to be a hundred megatons. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. First, it was supposed to have been a hundred kilotons of megatons. It's going to tell you right here. It should tell you right here. Yeah, it's going to wake up one day, man. It's going to be a totally different world. The Bible speaks of zombies. People are going to be walking around. Plus, listen, when all these, when all hell breaks loose, they're going to shut this country down, man. Ain't going to be no trucks delivering food. That's just coming to an end, you know. And the Lord, he said to go out and prophesy of a famine. So the Lord is bringing a famine. It's going to be a famine of bread and water. Man, what you going to do? When, what, the, what you think the people are going to do if they ain't going to be able to get food and water, man? All these people, everybody going to be up against each other, man. One day you're going to walk on the streets, you're going to see people getting chased. You you might be on the run yourself, because I know you see movies like The Walking Dead, yeah. um, The Book of Eli, the movie uh, The Road. Those are some badass movies, yeah. man. You know? You remember, remember the movie, especially The Road, The Book of Eli, they on the road walking, and they encounter cannibals. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. One day you're going to wake up, and you might be on the run yourself with your family, your wife, your kids, or whoever. And you might see a lot of corn. You're going to see people rotisserie their, their babies. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Hold up. Here, here you go. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, you got to, the only way you can prepare for it is follow. You got to follow the Lord, man. You know? You got to follow the Lord. Here, check this. Here you go. And now the Lord, you know, you know people. 
and us, we, we made up lies just to impress people. We, you know, and that's just the nature of us because we're in these fleshly ass bodies, man. We, you know, a lot of us lie. Some of us try not to. You know, that's one thing about me. I don't tell lies, man. Unless it's to be, I need to, there's a reason I need to be clever. You know, but check this out. It says, Section of the to one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of fire. That's why I ask you what nationality you are, because you, just because you look like who you are, you could actually be who I am. You know, because leprosy is actually a skin, a curse in the Bible. Just like we're the children of Israel are under, man, we're under many curses, but leprosy is just one of them. All right. So don't you hear people out here because of the way you look, they condemn you and reject you because of how you look. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can receive the Lord, you have to be one of his people, man. So let me get again. Behold, speak down the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, the Lord's people, the Israelites, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity, the unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's a beautiful way to begin this. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues. This was plagues. What's going on now? I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, those are instruments of destruction. It yeah. cause death. Famine. Death and destruction. So famine's coming. There's going to be a great famine, man. Like I said, a great famine where this whole entire country is going to be shut down. Now, what's America's debt right now? The whole country. Country's, um, I might be wrong, 25, 26, or 27 trillion in debt. This country can't pay that back now. It has no, it, this country can't even pay the interest on that. So they bankrupt the country. They're shutting this shit down, man. They're shutting it down. All through the heavenly thought. Because the people choose not to listen. This is a godly nation. You see these whites against blacks, blacks against whites. Theft, murder, constantly going on with our people killing each other. You know what I'm saying? You see the riots that's going on in all the major cities. And it was here in Columbus also. They tore downtown the fuck up. Oh, yeah, Have you seen it? Yeah. it? Oh, man, that was beautiful, man. They tore that shit up. See, this is all the beginning. You know, because that time is going to come, man. It's going to be the whole country. It ain't going to just be in um, isolated areas like downtown. It's going to be the whole entire country. So you literally, people going to literally be on the run, man. The scriptures describe his people going to be like, in their mind state, to be like a pilgrim. You know, pilgrim is constantly find a place to rest, rest there for a while, continuously move on, move on, again. move on when daylight comes. You know what I'm saying? You know how the movies go, man. You want to move, you want to run, trying to survive. But that's what's coming, man. All hell is about to break up. It's going to be beautiful, man. But all this, like I said, man, all this has to take place before the Lord comes. You know? You heard people, oh, I'm saved, I'm saved. That's what it's all about, being delivered, being saved, man. The Lord coming to save his people. Okay, but going back to the UFO again. I ain't going to keep you. I ain't going to try and keep you, man. Nah, you, you know?